Daniel Hoom. Dan, it is so good to see you, buddy. You look fantastic. Uh, congrats on all this. this Thank is... you so much. Thank you so much you, for having me. You, you, um, you did it. Did You know, I'm, I've been the biggest fan of, of you and your restaurant, uh, Love Mess, for a long time. Uh, and you became uh, the best restaurant uh, in New York, and then it was best restaurant in the world, and then uh, you changed your menu completely. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? And why would you do that? What kind of insane human being are you? You know, I, br I brought a little note uh, that's hanging in my office, and uh, it's, r it's right here, and it's a note that deeply uh, inspires me, and it's by you that you sent me in 2017. Oh my gosh, uh, I kind of I remember that. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, I put, take New York, take the world, space? That's the thing, yeah. So, so I've been trying to figure out space. space. <laughs> do, you, do you remember? I, I, wow, you remember this? I, I was so happy for you because you're just such a brilliant guy and everyone, the whole crew over there. By the way, it is a... a it is out of this world experience to go to 11 Madison. Uh, and and e even like, it's just so well done, top to bottom, everybody. Of course, you're gonna get awarded a Michelin star, but how long has Michelin been around? So like it, this award that we just received, there was three Michelin stars for the first vegan restaurant in history ever. So it, it was really meaningful because Michelin has been around for over a hundred years. And they have sort of written the rules of what a fine dining restaurant is. Every chef is sort of guided by that. And um, 11 Madison Park had three Michelin stars for 11 years in a row, um, but for serving meat. Our restaurant was famous for it's honey, good. lavender, duck, duck and yeah. poached lobsters and caviar. I remember when you've changed over to vegan, I go, I mean, I love you. But I'm like, good luck, buddy. You know, I'm, I'm rooting for you, but yeah, you know, what are you? I, I, are people going to buy into this? I mean, it, people must have you know, thought you were crazy. You know, I, I'm not going to lie, but there were moments that were really scary. Like during the pandemic, I spent a lot of time by myself, and um, so a lot in solitude. And I also realized that the world is changing, and the food system is changing, and the climate is changing, and I felt like I had a responsibility to use this platform, to use my voice um, of food, yeah. um, to, to speak and, and to use my creativity to make that future uh, more delicious and more beautiful. But as we got closer to the reopening, I was like at home, couldn't sleep. I was like, is anyone gonna come? And <laughs> you know, yeah. it was scary. And um, I think with the Michelin Award, like with anything, uh, with a new album, in any, any artist, a new album, a painting, or it's so much about being at the right moment, at, you know, the right, the time. right time. And I think you can be one step ahead, but you can't be 10 steps ahead. And so with, with this recognition of Michelin, it just was really helpful to create this forward momentum for our team and for everyone around it that it was essential and so it You're in the up. history books, bud. I, and, it's, and honestly, it was, I was so happy when I saw it. It was all over the internet. I was like, oh my gosh, I texted you. I'm like, I'm freaking <laughs> out right now, bud. I'm freaking out, it's so cool. And I think it, it's, or it's, it's changing the game, it has to. You know, in the beginning, it felt like I would leave a lot behind, like leaving all these techniques that I've learned for years perfected and the ingredients I've worked with. But then what I found is like, using plants and vegetables to cook. It's so liberating, it's so beautiful, it's the future. And um, in a way, now I'm looking back and I feel like I was limited before because now we're really cooking entirely. We've, we started our own farm called Magic Farm upstate and we're using most of our ingredients from the farm. It's just been so beautiful. But even the, the 11 Madison home, can we talk about this? This is so. A we were here before and we launched 11 Madison Home and f at first it was just available uh, for New York City and we just expanded to be nationwide. It's 11MadisonHome.com and we have the kitchen essentials, pantry items, all the things we use in the kitchen to make things more delicious and successful. Uh, but then we also, of course, have our granola and our the snacks granola, and even peanut to... butter. Yeah. Um, but we really want to make plant-based food, uh, the future, and bring it into people's home. And I think this is a great way even to have if, a taste yeah, all over Even if America. you just start with one meal, just do a little plant-based and just slowly, it's all helping 
the world. You're helping. You know, this is not anti-meat, but it is pro-planet. And I think, <laughs> and I think one issue I have is that we are so. I and and I think it's about progress and not perfection. And 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 sometimes when people don't do something a hundred percent, they get criticized. But change happens from slowly changing. You can't change one day to the other. So I think if we all can just reduce how much meat we eat, we will have a better world and a better climate. I love you. I'm so happy for you, bud. Chef Daniel Hoom, everybody, check out 11madisonhome.com. Cole Swindell performs after the break. Stick around. Hey, hey.